Sublevel 14, The Dream Den. This- oh no. This is it. This is it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh... I've only been here... I, I've only done this once before. I mean, I've faced this thing countless times, but I've only successfully faced it once. So, it all comes down to this. So first, I need to separate out my group. This is the one boss in the game that uses every elemental hazard. In fact, is it the... One, one moment. This is the... This is weird. This is the first boss in the game that uses any elemental hazard that Pikmin can be immune to. I mean, think about it. We've had the burrowing snagret, doesn't use anything. We've had the giant bread bug, obviously doesn't use one. Manit legs, raging long legs, pileated snagret, ranging bloister, segmented crobster, and water wraith. And none of those use an elemental hazard. And this is the first boss that does, and uses every single one. We're going to have Olimar at the head of this crew, because this is Louie, and this is, oh boy, the final boss of the game. Is that Lu is that Louis, Mr. President? I have located Louis resting on a vast mound of treasure. For him to venture to these depths alone, the desire of a man of man is a thing to be feared. But Louis is not moving. Could he have exhausted his strength in reaching these depths? There may yet be time. Lu quickly to Louis's aid. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is the Titan Dweevil. Also, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I got the wrong kind of Pikmin out first. I need yellows. The Titan Dweevil. The enemy that forced Nova and myself to. Uh, forced Nova and myself to get into a, nu a, an, a nuclear arms race to see who could complete the game first. It uses every elemental hazard, but there's a specific order that they can that they should best be taken out in. The water pump, also known as the monster pump, is the weapon with the longest range and should be taken out first. Each one of these items can be s targeted separately and they have their own health. Now, when I mentioned the poison, about how it might be affecting the captain's perception of what this battle looks like. I say that because the poison is, for the first time in the game, able to harm- oh boy. It's able to harm the captains. Which means that it is able to permeate their, their defenses, as you can see here. I'm getting hit by the poison, which kind of lends some air to the- lends some, uh, grounds to the theory that there are some toxic fumes here affecting the minds of the captains. Now, okay, that, that actually does hurt. Okay, yeah, every single hazard of this enemy does cause captains to flinch. Okay, I need to take care of the water pump first. It hasn't used it yet, but soon you'll see why I need to take care of it first. Also, let me take a moment to appreciate those fire effects. It's blue at the, the start, which is how, how fire out of a propane tank does work. It is blue like that. It's just really neat. Okay, here's the poison. I just need to walk out of the bounds of the arena. Uh, let's go ahead and use a ultra spicy spray. I need to take care of that water pump because it is able to hit my Pikmin no matter where they are on the map, which means that my captain, which is currently... There it is. It's currently hiding out... There it is. Currently hiding next to the geyser can be hit by these water attacks, and so when this happens, I need to switch over, make sure that I am protecting those Pikmin with my whistle. And I need to take it out quick. Now, I'm using yellow Pikmin to take out this hazard because the electroshock therapist is the one hazard able to instantly kill Pikmin! And so I need to 
use yellows until that is down. Okay, this isn't this isn't half bad. I haven't lost any Pikmin yet. But I also haven't made any progress. There's the fire. Man, this is a beautiful boss. Look how gorgeous this thing is. It's absolutely beautiful. It changes colors whenever it uses an elemental hazard. And just like any other Dweevil... Get out of the way. Just like any other Dweevil, this needs to be handled very intelligently and methodically. Okay, where's the shock... Or the uh, monster pump? There it is. Take it out. Now this attack... It can't hurt these Pikmin, obviously. But it is... It's hard to guard against because it's difficult to see where it's actually coming from. Okay, get some Pikmin onto that. It should be almost down. Get out of the way! Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh, no! Oh! I lost one. I lost one. Okay, that's not bad. That is not bad. I got kind of cornered there. I need to stay mindful of where the, uh, where the exits are. Okay, using the water pump. While that's happening, let's get some Pikmin attacking this. Switch over. Oh, I'm glad that I did. Oh, boy. Did I lose any Pikmin? I'm, it's fine as long as I can dodge these attacks. If I can dodge the attacks, then I can keep the- Oh, I knocked it down! I knocked it down! I knocked it down! The monster pump is down! Repeat, the monster pump is down! Oh, wait, no, no. Don't celebrate yet. I still need to take out the electroshock therapist. Now, I don't believe that it can actually pick up the monster pump or any of its parts, but I, for some reason, I seem to recall that it can. Uh, but I guess we'll find out together. Okay. Get out of the way. Take a sip of my lime iced tea. And electroshock therapist is the TV tube right here. That's not enough. Oh, get out of the way! Get out of the way! Woo! This is such a cool boss. Just look at look at this thing's visuals. Let me get take a moment to appreciate it. It looks like Louie is almost piloting it. He's he's sitting in the front right behind the glowing eyes, which are covered by the electroshock therapist itself. It's just a beautifully made boss. It's also amazingly designed. Looking at it, you can see that it, purples are almost completely useless here, meaning that for the first time in the game... Oh, this is good. <coughs> this is good. Get them on this. Woo! That almost hit them. Here, you get back a little bit. Oh, boy. Oh, he's using it again. Nice. This is good. But for the first time in the game, purples are, are not ridiculously overpowered. Oh, it's using it again? Really? Whoa! <laughs> oh, man. So, it looks like it can actually use that attack in multiple different ways. Man, it is spamming the attacks. Get back here. Get back here, you two. But purples are are barely useful at all. Here, can we? Can you actually not be moving towards my squad? You're getting outside of the bounds a bit. And that's worrisome to me. Move over this way. Thank you. Okay. Oh, this is good. Get them on the... On the... Ush therapist. Got a little bit of damage in. And here's the... Fire attack. Let's power up my Pikmin. And get ready to get out of the way of his next attack. Oh, that was... That was kind of stupid. Okay, this is good. I can get in some good damage. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 no! No! Get back here! Oh, whew. That was close. Get out of the way, get out of the way! I could have used that opportunity to get some damage in, but it would have been risky, especially considering how much of the field th that attack covers, and by that I mean everything. Which means it can lock me out of accessing my Pikmin. Oh, this is good. Will it knock out the Electroshock Therapist? It's, it did! The, the Therapist is down. Okay, that means the rest of the squad, minus purples, can come in. Uh, minus purples and blues. I... Let's see. 
whites, reds, throw them away. Uh, let's also dismiss them there. Get the other Pikmin out of the way since the... Well, actually, technically the Electroshock, the electroshock Therapist is down, so I don't need to worry about it anymore. Okay. Uh, we're going to focus firstly on... I think the... the let's see, what's it called? The... Flare Cannon. It seems to be the easiest to get at right now. Throw them out of the way. We don't need yellows anymore. And it looks like this fight is mainly in the bag. Oh, this is good. Oh, no, it's not. Get out of the way. Run! Whoa, oh, no, no, no. Camera, 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 camera. Camera! I'm gonna lose some Pikmin to this. Yeah, I lost a Pikmin. That was bad. The camera angled in a bad way. There's the comedy bomb again. Getting out of the way. Have to clear the arena for that one. And... Let's get... Uh, it's not... It's too high. Oh, this is good. This is not good. I have all my Pikmin. Switch over Olimar, please. Get the rest of the squad. Separate them. Okay, good. Uh, this is bad, actually. Get all the white Pikmin out. Whistle them. Cool. What are you doing? You're doing the comedy bomb. Get out of the way. I probably should be taking out the comedy bomb first, but it's kind of risky. I'd rather take out the the flare cannon first, so I can just focus on using just whites for this. Although it seems to be rather fond of spamming this, so maybe I should get rid of it. Get out of the way. Actually, you know what, let's follow it. And there. Get on top of it. The problem is with the red Pikmin is that they fly so low to the ground that it's difficult to get a bead on, on that stupid fire flare cannon. Okay, meander around this way. Hopefully he'll use the fire attack. There it is. Okay, get out of the way. Yes, I'm behind it. Oh, this is perfect. I got right behind it. He can't turn around. This is... Oh, this is definitely going to take it out. Oh, this is definitely going to take it out. Get out of range again. Get behind it. And hit it from behind. I got it with a couple. Let's get it with the rest. Oh, fire attack again. Good. Oh, get behind it. Probably the easiest attack to avoid of all of them. And this can't actually hurt Olimar, so... It's down! It's down! We did it! And now... Oh, man. We did it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get back here. No way am go I going to let you, of all Pikmin, die. Not after how much I've gone through. Losing almost all of my purples. And now, there's only one hazard to, to worry about now. And it's one that we can't even get hurt by. Now, I can, I can get these treasures out of the way and collect them, but at this point, I don't really, I don't really need to, but it, it would, it would, like, for some of the earlier parts, especially if you're low on Pikmin and are not sure if you can defeat the, the Titan Dweevil, then harvesting these can, can be a good way of ensuring that the Titan Dweevil is weaker on the first pass. This is kind of, it's hard to get at. It's, it hit, its hitboxes are all around it, which means it, it's really difficult to actually get in on. Can I swarm it? No. Here. There. I got some on it. That's good. Okay. Get them on. This is kind of difficult to get at. I can't actually die from that. Uh, you know what? Let's... Ah, oh boy. Let's clear some of these treasures out of the way. Because they are getting in the way, for sure. Okay, clear that out. I'm not going to collect it entirely yet. Get out of the way! Oh, you barely outran it. 
There. The flare cannon is out of the way. We should be able to take this thing out fairly easily now. Okay, come on. Let's start throwing them now. I'm getting stuck, but it's still working. We're getting some good damage in on this. Oh, wait, get out of the way. It's slow going, but it's... Oh, come on. He has one last defense, and he knows it. He's trying to spam... He's trying to use it, not because he knows it'll get Pikmin out of the way, but it, no, he knows that it will be a moving target, so I can't hit it. Okay, come on. Get on the, the comedy bomb. I think I got some on it. No, none? Really? There, there. Got some on it. It's only two, but it's better than none. Got one on it. Get up. Get up, president. Okay. I'm trying to throw Pikmin so that as it moves the the comedy bomb under its body, it the flying Pikmin can intercept it. Like so? Yeah, it kind of worked. There's one Pikmin on it. The good thing is, I can't possibly die at this point. I cannot be defeated. Oh, that's good. Got some damage in. Got a couple Pikmin on it. Here, let's... Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. This is good. Okay. There. No! Oh! No! No! This did not work! This did not work! I'm stuck! Uh... Yeah, that was a little bit awkward. Get out of the way. Energize my Pikmin. When he does that, I'll do it again, but hopefully it'll work a bit better. There. And now... Wait, what? Okay, they're hitting it. Hit the comedy bomb! No, get out of the way. There. This is good. This is good. Okay, I think this might take it out. Maybe? No, not quite. Uh, am I stuck? No, I'm not. And it's also cool because the music is extending because of this. But I think this should take it out. No, not not quite. It must be a couple hits away. It's starting to move quicker. It knows that it only has one defense left. Oh, no, I missed. There. Come on. This must be enough. Where did this yellow come from? Where on earth did this yellow come from? Seriously, that is the question of the hour. You get out of here. I missed. I missed. I missed. Get out of the way. Running. Oh, man. It was barely able to outmaneuver that. And... Oh, I got out of the way, and this should finish it off. Maybe. Hopefully. It's getting some great damage in on this. Just have to avoid it, the poison. So close. Come on, you can do it. That one white that I believed in you since the beginning of the adventure. Do it. Man, he's really holding on to this this last this last weapon. Oh come on! Just a couple more hits, and it has to go down. It has to. Okay. Carefully line it up. Is that it? Is that it? Come on! Oh man. So hard to get in on without the spray. Oh, I got some in on it without needing the spray. Let's see if I can DI out. I don't think I can. I don't think DI is a thing in this game. Come on. Carefully man oh no 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 no. Did it change the I think it changed the direction. Come on. Just a little bit more. Got one on it. I got it! I got it! That, that one was enough! And now it is without defense. 
And now, let's, let's finish a tradition, if you will, on this channel. Where, where are they? Where are my purples? There they are. Let's finish off this final boss battle. As we've finished so many boss battles before. With five purples. Throw them on. And let's let these five purples do the rest of the work for us. The Titan Dweevil cannot pick up any more treasures at this point. And it's just forced to admit defeat. Trying to flail around to keep enemies off of it. To keep my Pikmin from killing it. It's as defenseless as any other Dweevil in the game. Except this time, it's lost its defenses. It can't even use its innate elemental attacks against us. Because it doesn't have any left. It had to use just technology it found from humanity's peak. To, f to fight, to protect its treasure, to protect its horde, the horde that a previous civilization held onto for so long and ended up destroying themselves because of that horde. And so, the Titan Dweevil, the last thing holding on to humanity's legacy, is no more. This world is washed clean. Louie? Are your life functions fading? No, he appears only to have fainted. He is always running into trouble. Instruct the Pikmin to carry him! There is not enough room for him in the cockpit anymore! We will have to keep him in the cargo hold with the treasure hoard! But That was weird. And that's it! We've done it! And the purples have defeated the hardest enemy in the game! And yet they can't carry something up a simple hill. Let's do this with the old. <laughs> okay, okay, Blue Pikmin, you 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 got it. Let's do this flavorfully, shall we? We've taken out every single elemental hazard of this boss, so let's have every single elemental Pikmin carry it back. So, the monster pump worth 1,000 Pokos. and I guess we can use purples to supplement this since I I do not have enough. The monster pump, worth two or one thousand Pokos, was the first thing we took out. Next was the electroshock therapist, worth also one thousand Pokos. Take that back to base, and then we'll the other things will fall suit. Oh wait, 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 wait! I don't think we can actually take Louie back to base yet. I think that automatically ends the game. So let's let's just leave him here. Asleep. Can we <laughs> Hey president. Yeah? You know that thing we always do where we drink nectar? Yeah. Well, could you <laughs> drink him? <laughs> Don't quote me on that. The water pump or the monster pump. Worth a lot. And then the Electroshock Therapist. Let's grab the rest of our Pikmin. Uh, we took out the fire thing, the, the Flare Cannon next. So let's grab that. The Flare Cannon, or this first. Worth 1,000 Pokos. Man, I can't believe I, did, I beat the boss. It's done. Like, I, I have only defeated him once before. Man, and I lost how many Pikmin? Like, three? That's crazy. Shock therapist. Or, I guess not, yeah, it's not electroshock therapist. Now for the flare cannon. And finally, without... Let me grab these purples. And the whites. 
the fastest thing to return to the base, but the slowest thing to take off of the Titan do evil's body, the comedy bomb. I guess everyone get, like, gets to help. One thousand Pocos, flare cannon. Man, I cannot believe that I did that. I mean, I dreaded that for so many years, and I did it again. I I was able to do it. The like I said, the moment, the culminating moment that I've been waiting for since the the beginning of the channel. I would practice episodes when I was just mowing the lawn. Practice hypothetical episodes, and this is one of the ones that I would practice was the Titan Dweevil fight. And it just feels so weird. And you too. Now with all four co colors of Elemental Pikmin carrying him back, let's end the game. It has been a blast. And with that, we have, ac we have accumulated, we have collected every single treasure in the game. And finally, the best of them all, the King of Bugs, is worth 10 Pocos. He's not even worth anything. He's not why we came here. We came here for the treasure. And Louis just an afterthought. Well, can't win them all. In for a penny. All right, let's leave. What? Before we do, what is this? Is this a burn? I think this is a burn barrel. No, it, oh, I know what it is. This is a uh, one of those trash barrels that people use to store trash and then burn it in the, the burn barrel. And that's why the Titan Dweevil had all those pieces of parts. It was just a, a spider that had moved into a burn barrel and started evolving with all of its, its components. All the, the trash that was in here. Man, talk about a hoarder. Okay. Let's leave. Now, hopefully we got every treasure. Because if we didn't, I'm sad. No, we did. Cool. We lost 26 Pikmin. But I've lost more to that than the Titan Dweevil before. And that's the last red flag on our on a cave we've gotten every single treasure and so now let's earn every last cutscene the wistful wild with what six seconds remaining You have collected every treasure. Now, what does that actually mean, technically? Every treasure. Also, oh man, this, this cutscene is so buggy. But what does it mean, every single treasure? Because this planet has more to it. How do they know that they've gotten everything? When we started out this adventure, it was in Pikmin 1. Olimar had crash-landed on this planet and needed to use the Pikmin for, to ensure his own survival, to ensure that he would see his family again. On his second outing to the Pikmin planet, he wasn't using them for his own personal gain. He was using them as a resource. And as we fly over these remnants of what this world was before, you can see that there are some rice paddies, there are hints of cultivated fields, of irrigation, of roads. You have to wonder what Olimar thinks. What was this world? What made it become what it did? And why is it that he, of all people, had the pleasure of surviving here? This is the game that captivated me as a child, and I'm so happy to have been granted the privilege of showing it to you. After three years, I've finally been able to play this game, and it has been an honor. Thank you so much for watching. And this is Pikmin 2.
High scores. Days spent, 33. Pikmin lost, 159. That's not that much. I've never lost a Pikmin behind. I've never lost a Pikmin to fire. What? I, th I thought I, I had. Pikmin lost to poison. A couple. A lot of Pikmin born. A lot of Pikmin born. Wow. Total playtime, 19 hours. Try to beat my time. Do it. I dare ya. Or try to beat my days, because technically I did this in 18 days? Because at day 15, we did the 15 day skip, and it's day 33 right now? So beat my score. Go do it. Go have fun. Now, there is something I would like to announce before I end the episode. And that is the battle mode slash mission mode of this game. You bet I intend to cover it. And I've waited to, till this point to give it a definite answer. I will be showing off the mission mode. And I will have a second player. It took a lot of... A lot of convincing. But Nova has agreed to jump on as my second player and go through the mission mode or the challenge mode with me and we are going to be doing it 100%. And so, join me next time for another PALS play, Pikmin 2. It's going to immediately follow the series, which means that technically this series will most likely hit the 55-60 episode mark. One of the longest series on the channel, and one of my favorite games of all time. See you guys then! And jump! No! I did it! I did it! I was able to discover it! Yes! That's... that's exactly what I needed. I just got close enough to discover it, and now... I... oh no. And now I can't skip travel to it. skip travel to it. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's because I'm out of stamina. No. No, it is not. <laughs>